Well, hello there. Where am I? Good question. I'm in the salt marsh, here to check out one of the major sources of food for the animals in this habitat. You might know something about the salt marsh if you've ever come here on one of our classes. You might also have learned a little bit from the other videos that we've been posting about this habitat. We've got plants back here, all sorts of different animals, but today I want to talk about what a lot of these different animals are eating. It's a food source that's very, very common, and you probably have all the ingredients you need in your backyard. It's called detritus, and a lot of animals think that this is tasty and delicious. Now, the recipe for detritus is easy to follow. It's got three main ingredients. You need dead rotting plants like these. The cord grasses, the needle rush that falls into the marsh and starts rotting and decomposing. You also need dead rotting animals. Um, so a lot of these animals, you know, it's sad to say, but your cousin, your friend, you know, they get old, they die, they fall into the mud, and then they become delicious, detritus. The third ingredient you need is where dessert comes in. And I like to think of it as the chocolate sprinkles on top. That's poop. And if you take all three of these ingredients, all of this poop and all of this dead stuff, well, you get one of the major food sources available out here in the marsh. This detritus is what a lot of the things like fiddler crabs are munching on. And what a fiddler crab will basically do is they'll just scoop up handfuls or clawfuls of this lovely goop. But you can't eat everything here because only part of it is detritus. There's also mud, and sand, silt, clays, things like that, which are not good for your digestion. So what these crabs will do is they will basically take it, shove it into their mouth, and using these little appendages up at the front, they kind of sort through it, and they swallow the poop and dead stuff. The detritus is fantastic. As for the sand, the silt, the clay, all of that stuff that you don't want to eat, well, they pack it into a little ball, which kind of looks like its very own type of poop. In fact, it looks so much like poop, we give them a special name. These are called pseudofeces. And if you look at the pathway in front of me, there are pseudofeces and fiddler crabs hard at work in their burrow all along this pathway making that detritus, coughing up the, uh, the sand, the silt, and the mud, because you don't want to spend time swallowing that. Now, the other thing that you're not going to get to experience, not unless you somehow go to a salt marsh of your own while you're maintaining a safe distance from each other and going to only open salt marshes, something that you'll notice is the smell. And I really wish there was some way that I could bring this to your household, but you probably wouldn't come watch the video again if I did that. It smells like rotting eggs here. And every time I dig up a handful of this detritus, more of that smell, that rotten egg hydrogen sulfide gas smell is released. Because what I'm doing is basically releasing, oh look, an oyster shell releasing pockets of this gas, which is produced as the rotting plants decompose and they release it. And it is truly eye-opening. If you've got clogged sinuses, the salt marsh is a great place to go because it's gonna open them right up. And it is, it is quite a smell. Trust me, you'll have to take my word on that one. The only other thing that I love so much about this habitat is that well, for someone who is sensitive to the sun, this makes some of the absolute best sunscreen that you can possibly imagine. My name's Chris. I work for the Dauphin Island Sea Lab. I want you to stay safe, stay healthy, and appreciate the beauty of your natural habitats.